हे नमस्कार सत्यकाल आदाब वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ सिंग एंड कुक ऑन संजीव कपूर खजाना एंड आई एम योर होस्ट हरपाल सिंह सोखी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू बटर चिकन और चिकन मखनी दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यूनिक रेसिपीज ऑफ अ कंट्री इट हैज ट्रेवल्ड ऑल अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड अपार्ट फ्रॉम द यूजल चिकन टिक्का चिकन मखनी और बटर चिकन हैज ऑल्सो ट्रेवल्ड ऑल अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड इट इज सेड that in delhi there was a restaurant called moti mahal the cooks there after cooking the tandoori chicken used to leave over the you know parts like the neck or the wings and that used to get accumulated over the day now the cooks there thought that why not mix it with some tomato gravy and cook it further so there was the evolution that happened in the streets of new delhi these plump red tomatoes we'll cut it into small cubes so that they get cooked faster i generally don't like to puree the tomatoes because i've seen with my experience that when you puree the tomatoes you don't get the red bright red color of the gravy which generally is required in chicken makhani hence i saute the tomatoes in little butter and oil which keeps the color of the tomatoes nice and bright red which is what we require let me pour some oil in this pan that i have lighted and add some butter to this to this add the green cardamom some blades of mace now this is an interesting ingredient that i have mace most of you might not be knowing that mace is the flower you know the covering of nutmeg this is found on top of the nutmeg now the nutmeg is found in a fruit which is mostly in sri lanka and down south it's inside it's actually the seed of a fruit and on top of the seed you get this little thing which is very flavorsome called mace i get a nice flavor now of the herbs that are put in i'll add the chopped garlic to this cook the garlic a bit and then add the tomatoes the garlic is now little brown let me add the tomatoes while my tomatoes get cooked and pulpy let me just cut some ginger and green chilies ginger here i'll cut julienne of ginger cut it into thin slices first cut it into fine julienne any big pieces can be taken out and cut again into julienne so you get nice shreds of ginger and green chili what i'll do is i need to deseed the green chili so all the hotness of the green chilies which lie in the seeds and the central stem that you see I have removed that. I'll cut them into fine julienne also, like this. The tomatoes are now almost pulpy. They're cooked and soft. You see this bright red color? This color I would not have got if I had used fresh tomato puree, which means fresh tomatoes. cut into small cubes and ground in a mixture i wouldn't have got this bright red color this comes only when you saute the tomatoes directly in oil along with garlic so that's one trick to keep the murg makhani or the chicken makhani bright red and you don't need artificial colors as you know artificial colors are all bad for health if they are not natural they are all bad for health and across the world they are mostly not natural so i 
give you this trick of keeping the chicken makhani bright red. This is how you do it. Now, I'll turn this off and cool this mixture for some time before I grind in a grinder to a fine paste. So when you grind this into a fine paste, the green cardamom, mace, everything will be ground together and all those will incorporate the great flavors to the murk makhani. This I will grind to a fine paste. The tomatoes are now pureed and they are perfect. You now have pureed tomatoes. Let me now cook it further in a pan. Add some more butter as the name calls for murg makhani or chicken makhani which means buttery you know. So we need to add lot of butter. The gravy taste is nice creamy and buttery. So some more butter, the ginger julienne, green chili juliennes. We've added ginger juliennes and the green chili juliennes to the hot butter here. Saute for a few seconds so that the butter does not get brown. And now you strain this puree into this mixture into the ginger and green chili mixture here. The tomatoes I have strained. What is left is you see the seeds, the, the covering of green cardamom and some skin of tomato which actually I don't need. Hence these go into the dustbin. I get a nice silky tomato gravy here which is what the chicken makhani, butter chicken is called. So I'll cook this for another few minutes, which should be around 10 minutes on slow flame so that the tartness of tomatoes, you know, the sourness of tomatoes will be gone by then. While the gravy is being cooked, let me also add the Kashmiri red chili powder, salt to taste. and cook it further until the raw flavors of tomato is no more which should take about five minutes more ideally a good tandoori chicken which is like you know whole tandoori chicken is what goes into the gravy but generally across the world now people don't like chicken on bone they want shreds of chicken so for that a cooked tandoori chicken they shred the chicken pieces here the flesh out and add to this but i'm going to do the way it is done traditionally. Chicken on bone. Everything goes into this. Cut it into smaller pieces. My chicken is cut now and I will add it to the tomato gravy. You see the bright red color which is first through the trick of cooking tomatoes directly in oil. I have added no water in this gravy as you see and then adding Kashmiri red chilli powder further brightens up the color of this dish. It's nice and orangish red which is what the color you get across the world whether it's a restaurant or any hotel but at home generally you feel what is that trick. This is the trick just for you. Now this tomato makhani gravy is ready. You could use it with either cottage cheese which is paneer to make paneer makhani, mixed vegetables to make it veg makhanwala. I have done here traditional chicken makhani or murg makhani. In goes tandoori chicken into the tomato gravy. Let's cook this chicken for about two to three minutes. The chicken is now simmered in the tomato gravy for about two to three minutes. You will get the flavors of the chicken into the gravy as well. Finally, we need to finish it with fresh cream, loads of fresh cream, a cup full probably, some green cardamom powder for a little more flavor and some honey to balance the tartness and sweetness in the makhani.
all the ingredients that are required for a murg makhni or a chicken makhni have gone into this finally i've got one little secret ingredient here which is kasuri methi now this is fenugreek leaves that are dried mostly done in the region of kasur now in pakistan there they used to dry the fenugreek leaves and use it when it was not available in winters kasuri methi into the murg makhni adding another new dimension to the makhni which is actually traditionally done we all use kasuri methi powder when we cook tomato makhni gravies wow the makhni is now ready not a bit of color in this the trade secrets have been shared with you in this recipe let me taste the mur makhni for you just the balance of sweetness and tartness done exactly the way it is done across the world in good restaurants or hotels easy and simple i have shared this recipe with you just do it the way i have done it you would love it